Hey guys, it's Kirsten Spencer. I was going to jump on board with the Earth in the Eye um, method, Photoshop, fun trick, but I have a different way to do it, so I thought I would just go ahead and share. So I always uh, crop to a 15 by 11 or 11 by 15 um, ratio. If you want to know why, you can uh, take one of Damien's classes. That's where I learned it. Um, okay, so I, I guess the, the going trick is this. Um, I was actually going to crop it this way because I had an idea to put some text on here. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I'll try. Her hair is so gorgeous. <laughs> it almost like kills me to, to cut it off. Okay, so you'll notice with the crop, I have the content aware box checked up here so it automatically fills in the background which is amazing okay so let's zoom in on the eye here okay so what I am going to do is file place linked and then um, go to my downloads and I just downloaded uh, a picture of the earth from Google images um, hopefully I don't go to prison I didn't see it. there was there was no watermark on it or anything so I just grabbed it Okay, put it over the eyeball. Then you're gonna to go to your layers panel, lower the opacity, click on the move tool. Uh, make sure um, up here the show transform controls. Um, you might have to hit <clears throat> control T, which will also be able to transform your box. Then depending on what version of Photoshop you have, you might have to hold down your shift key, you might not. Okay, so I'm gonna hold down my shift key so I can get the earth covering her eye and also have it be round. With a lower opacity, you can see the, you know, where you need to go. Okay, I'm gonna double click on it and then raise the opacity back in. Now, instead of making a layer, well actually, okay, make a layer mask. So down here, the rectangle with a hole in it, you're gonna make a layer mask. Now, instead of erasing, I'm gonna add. So hit Control I, and that'll inverse the layer mask. So now the earth is hiding behind her eye. Kind of, you can view it that way. Okay, so now you're gonna take a white brush, because white reveal, black conceals, white reveals. Is that how the trick goes? Okay, so let me get in here in case you're on your phone. You wanna watch it nice and close. Okay, so now the first thing I'm gonna do is paint the iris. Actually, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna control Z. I'm gonna start over again here. I'm gonna do the opacity down. Let's go to like 50. I might need a smaller brush, hang on. So instead of removing it where you don't want it, you're adding it to where you do want it, if that makes sense. Okay, it looks a little crazy when you're that close, but let me just. So from here, I think that looks fantastic. Um, the one thing, so I'm gonna go back onto the original picture back here, and I'm just gonna get the paintbrush. I'll leave it at 50%. My uh, Einstein's 86 inch PLM takes up half of her eyeball. So I'm just gonna kind of darken the PLM in a little tiny bit. Some catch lights are good, but you can see there's a catch light here just from the earth. Anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the layer mask. If it's black, you want a white brush. I still feel like 50% might be too high of an opacity. Let's go down to like 20 something to get underneath.
I don't want to move her lashes either, so got to be careful there. Okay, so I think some people are perhaps lowering the opacity. Oh, not that much. Let's try 75. Yeah, 100, now that I'm looking at it, looks a little phony baloney. I might do 80. There we go. Um, I haven't figured out how to do a fake tear yet. All the teardrops that I've found on like, you know, PNG sites and whatever are like crazy fake looking. So I'll be on the hunt and I will let you know. Okay, good luck.